you know, I love fireworks. They're just our little way of reminding the sky of who's really in charge. Hey folks, welcome to This Week in History. Let's get right into it. On September 6th of 1522, the Victoria, the only surviving ship of Ferdinand Magellan's expedition, returned to Spain and became the first known ship to circumnavigate the world. Remember I said known. Hell, the dinosaurs could have done it for all we know. In 1620, the Mayflower set sail full of pilgrims from Plymouth, England to establish a settlement in North America. In 1628, Puritans settled a new territory, added it to the Massachusetts Massachusetts Bay Colony. They called it Salem. You may have heard of it. On September 7th at 1228, the Sixth Crusade began with the landing of Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II at Acker. He ended up recapturing Jerusalem diplomatically, and that's really saying something. In 1857, the Mountain Meadows Massacre began, where between 120 and 140 members of a wagon train were killed by Mormons in the Utah Territory. Why did it happen? Well, because a train of non-Mormons was in Mormon territory. I mean, they're cool people now, but the Mormons back then really weren't necessarily the kindest folks on the planet. Yeah, I guess they left that part out of Oregon Trail. On September 8th of 1504, Michelangelo's statue of David was unveiled in Florence. Fun fact, that sucker's 17 feet tall. On September 9th of 1850, California became the 35th U.S. state. Also on that day, in 1850, the Compromise of 1850 transferred roughly a third of Texas's territory to federal hands. This territory makes up what is now Oklahoma, Colorado, Kansas, Wyoming, and New Mexico. And in return, the U.S. took on about $10 million in Texas debt. Don't forget, you can get your hands on any of this wonderful merchandise you see on your screen here. And all you've got to do is just click on the link down in the description below. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of clicks after that, but y y you get the point. J you know, link's in the description below. Check it out. On September 10th of 1509, Constantinople was hit with a estimated 7.2 magnitude earthquake known as the Lesser Judgment Day. It caused a tsunami, was followed by 45 days of aftershocks, and killed somewhere between 1,000 and 13,000 people. Reports on natural disasters back then weren't as thorough as they are nowadays. On September 11th in 9, the Battle of Tudorborg Forest ended with the Roman Empire suffering its greatest defeat in their history and the loss of upwards of 20,000 men against an alliance of Germanic tribes. This also established the Rhine River as the border between the two for the next 400 years. In 1297, Scots under William Wallace defeated the English at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. For best reference, it was the main battle in Braveheart, except that it, you know, took place on a bridge. Yeah, wrap your brain around that one. On September 12th in 490 BC, the Battle of Marathon, where an alliance of Athenians and Plataeans defeated the Persians then hauled ass back to Athens in order to defeat the Persian Navy there took place. And yeah, they fought a full battle, ran full blast in full gear, and made it to Athens before the Persian fleet. It ended the first Persian invasion of Greece. We did a video about it. It was pretty damn impressive. In birthdays, we've got the first man to really study colorblindness, sometimes called Daltonism. John Dalton in 1766, English King Richard I, aka the Lionheart in 1157, and the man that just couldn't stop being mutinied against. William Bly was born this week in 1754. And it looks like that's just about do it for this week. We'll see you back here again. Same squirrel time, same squirrel channel. Don't forget to leave us a like down there and you have yourself a good week.